The old, exiled, purple leader, Wexman, was now on a trail. He looked ahead at the lands before him. He didn't know where he was going, but he did know he was going to be heading in the direction that no other plastic soldier had headed before. After his government was overthrown due to incompetency in the Civil War, he decided to go and find himself another army. The legendary, ancient, neon warriors of past days. The very soldiers who the Purples had descended from generations ago. While Wexman was making his voyage, the Tans were making a different kind of voyage. A voyage into utter destruction. Since the Blues and new Purple government had managed to land and get reinforcements onto the defensive point of the Tans, the rest of the Tan army decided it was time for a counterattack. They went to an old village of the Greens, one that had seen action in previous days of the Civil War. The Tans are sending a large force in a bit of a gambit. They want to try and knock out the Greens on this front. If the Greens are knocked out here, they'll have to splinter the rest of their soldiers from the other frontiers that the Tans are defending. And thus, the Tans will be alleviated in those sectors. Yo, what's going on, boys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit more Army Men Civil War, baby. General McLear has sent forward a whole lot of tan soldiers and tanks in a bit of a gambit to try and take this green village and then force the greens to send reinforcements to this sector of the battlefield but the greens of course do have a garrison waiting for them here uh that's pretty capable i mean they've got a lot of soldiers in defensive positions along a whole lot of different bridge positions too these bridges making great choke points and they've also got some good tanks uh they've got three or four tanks sprinkled throughout the battlefield which will you know aid them and uh finally they've got a backup point at this farm back here with the sort of last stand troopers uh, in case the front lines do fall. So the Tans do outnumber the Greens uh, for once in a battle. That's pretty rare. About three to one. However, the Greens, I mean, this is like a defensive heaven here. So it's going to be really, really hard for the Tans to make any progress. We'll see if they manage to do really anything against these green soldiers here either way guys if you do enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button it would be very appreciated subscribe if you have not already and comment down below if you'd like to see some more army men civil war in the future all right let's get it going baby all right boys let's go ahead and see if the greens can go ahead and defend this position or if the tans will make gains here if the tans do end up winning this battle I think the Blue-Purple Tan Alliance will be the strongest alliance in the entire game. Right now, I'd say the Orange Crusaders uh, and the Greens right now are on just about equal footing. But if the Tans do manage to win this battle, um, then the Greens and the Oranges will likely be the worst alliance, you know? I think this could be the massive comeback that the Tans need. However, if it doesn't work out, then uh, I think it's it's not going to be looking too good, to be completely honest. Right now, the Greens are fighting tooth and nail. They've got 50 cows blasting out the wazoo. I'm really excited to see Tans coming through this area here. I think that is going to be the coolest part. We do have two 50 cows over here. Yeah, the Greens are very ready for them. Also, a Piat trooper shooting up this way blowing through one of their buildings here i have to say i feel bad for the civilian populace of the army men nations i mean they every city at this point has been blown to smithereens uh and they are just all having a terrible 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 time tons of tans up here getting absolutely throttled by the green soldiers defending lots of death over here the tans haven't even made it into the sort of bridges area over this way uh, but they have made some strides in getting some kills they've killed a few green soldiers over here on the left more in the back which is kind of weird if you were to ask me um over here not much progress from the tans i do have to say 
Uh, ooh, this bridge was completely taken out. That's not exactly great. A couple of green soldiers over here down this bridge is getting absolutely destroyed by the tan armaments. Uh, I'm wondering which tanks are still alive for the greens as well. This green tank is alive, this green tank. Okay, all of the green tanks are in fact alive. How are the tan tanks doing on that end then? Uh, both of these are actually still alive. Are they tracked or anything? No, these are fully functioning. It seems like they're actually just having a bit of a standoff right now with the green tanks off in the distance. These tanks over here, it looks like this one's destroyed. This one is still active, but it seems damaged. It's definitely tracked from what I can tell. Uh, I don't know about the main gun, but it's definitely damaged in some parts. I don't know if it's fully going to be functioning ever again, but we'll see. Now, the Sherman rounding up on the left over here, running over a lot of these bodies. Whenever I say tanks run over and delete bodies, uh, this is what I mean. They, they just basically wipe them off existence, uh, and it results in us not being able to see the results of the battle as much at the end. Another tank over here having its gunner pop out the hood, but then quickly come under so much fire that he ducks back down. Um... Oh, he actually might have been shot off, which, uh, I, I thought he just ducked back down, but it looks like he got shot out of the tank. I missed that part right there. This tank going awfully close here. Um, right now it's aiming at this Sherman over this way, but it gets hit by, that looks like a Piat, uh, like a Piat charge there, or Piat, Piat shot, I guess? Piat missile? I don't know what to call it. Uh, it since it had so much more arc than what a bazooka would normally have, I would say. Oh, maybe this tank was actually taken out. So that's why... Oh, it was. That's why it wasn't focusing on it. It was focusing on this tank instead. I was, like, really confused. I was like, why, why are you focusing in on this tank when there's one right at your front door here? But no, that one was taken out, I suspect, by these Shermans over here, which are going through a little bit of a crossing. Basically, all of the Shermans remaining for the Tans are going up this way, which is a very interesting strategy. This green tank now coming under some intense fire. It does look like it's still alive, though it did just get tracked. It's in a defensive position, though, so who really cares on that one? Trooper getting up on the 50 cal. Just, just to scope it out. You know? He's just checking out what's good. He, he doesn't really want to get involved in the fight. No, he's just like, oh, what's happening up here? <laughs> All of these greens up here are still surviving quite nicely. So while the green tanks are suffering, a lot of green soldiers over this way are still doing a nice job of defending. And yeah, the tan bodies over here in these buildings are just mounting. However, the tans are pushing in a little bit farther this way, getting in this building a little bit, taking on these greens back here, though. These greens back here... Not suffering too much losses, so it looks like the greens are still holding their ground pretty nicely over there as well. It's still anyone's game, I would say. The tans still have just a boatload of troopers in the back and a lot of tanks, as is their sort of benefit in these uh, battles that they go through. The tans' productions are matched by none. Um, so the, the tans still have a lot of troopers, and the greens still have a solid defense. I mean, the right side is crumbling for the greens, which could result in a tan sweep from that side to the left. Uh, uh, however, their midsection is just absolutely brutal. Let's go into normal speed here and check out what goes on. I really want to see some tan soldiers try and take these bridges over here, but they seem to be staying away from them, which honestly is probably the strategically more sound strategy, um, because obviously going where the enemy wants you to go, they probably not the greatest idea. Another Sherman right there getting knocked out. There's one more right here which seems to be firing out at some of these greens over this way. Finally getting some kills on those guys. But not exactly that bridge assault I was really hoping for there. It does get knocked out as well. It's engine getting blown sky high. These bazooka troopers working overtime for the greens. We've got a bit of a river crossing over this way. Taking on the last of the green soldiers defending this bridge here. This tank... Still alive. Oh, it might have just gotten taken out. I thought that thing died a while back, but no, it's still cruising. We got Shermans up top here, but this thing is going to be actually attacked by the back lines here pretty soon. Gets struck by something right there. I think it's still alive. It's still firing out, I think, at this Sherman over this way. But yeah, it does end up going down. Uh, not to this tank, surprisingly, even though it had a flank shot on it, but by this one way back here. Kind of a sniper shot from that tank, to be completely honest here. All right, we still got two more Shermans coming up this way. Things are not lost for the Tans. Let that be known. The Tans are putting their weight into this battle. This Sherman taking out an entire little hut right there. What you doing? This uh, green defensive position over here seriously getting destroyed heavily. More troopers over here also 
going down. More HE shots from that Sherman landing over here. I think it's trying to help out some of the infantry for the Tans over this way, who certainly could use some help. I mean, there's a lot of dead Tans over here. They are seriously, seriously suffering uh, on that front of the battlefield. More troopers coming down mid. They're sort of uh, crawling in the gutters here, trying to, trying to take advantage of any cover they can get. And I mean, there is just still a ton of Tans alive. So, you know, truth be told, they could still easily win this thing. Here's the Sherman going for here. It's getting hit by a lot of bazooka shots. Did that take it out? No, it is still alive. Bazooka shots at that distance are tough to get kills with. However, one somehow managed to get the engine there. I think that was a Piot, and truth be told, that's that's probably the one gun that would be able to do that because the Piot has a bit more of an arc, so it probably arced over this and then landed in the back. A beautiful shot, if that is the truth. I don't really see another bazooka trooper that could have taken it out, so I really do think that's what happened because uh, to hit the engine at this angle, you would literally need a Piot to do that. So that is a very impressive shot right there, to be honest. Uh, but these greens over here getting pretty slaughtered now, so those guys are going down. The midsection of the green defense is starting to crumble a little bit. The back lines over here also taking some losses, but they've still got a pretty decent setup, to be honest. They're not they're not completely out of this thing over here on this side of the battlefield. What happened to all those um, tans over here? Ah, here they are. All the tans are now sort of backed up on the bridge over here, taking shots at the greens across the way. They decide not to cross over this way. Uh, this tan tank still alive over here. Seems to maybe just be doing some cover fire or something. Not totally sure what it's doing there. Uh, we've also still got this tan tank here. Oh no, sorry, this one here. Uh, which we can go ahead and enact the repair rule if we want to, which I think we do. Let's go ahead and enact the repair rule so that thing will get repaired. Um, and we'll also go ahead and start squatting up the last of the tan infantry. Uh, in the in the past few moments here, a lot more tan soldiers have ended up dying on the battlefield here. Uh, so I think the, the chances of tan victory are starting to dwindle. We can also go ahead and do the retreat rule. I would say these guys are significantly weaker than they once were. So why don't they go ahead and take up stances right there these troopers still seem fine these guys are pretty out in the open however they've they've shown a lot of value previously i mean six kills 11 kills and one kill that's pretty decent but i'm afraid that they will die if they stay there for too long so i'm gonna enact the retreat rule there because i think they'll be more effective for longer if they retreat back this soldier here i'm not gonna retreat because i think if i tried to he would immediately get domed by any tan soldier chilling over this way on these embankments so he's got to chill there but he gets taken out pretty quickly after uh, i say that anyway so does it even truly matter sherman over here is still taking some shots i don't know at what though oh at these soldiers here oh the soldiers I retreated back instantly getting shredded by that Sherman tank. I guess they would have been better off standing over here. Oh, my bad. Well, sometimes the the retreat rule, the squad up rule, and the repair rule, sometimes they end up being detrimental. You know, it's just the cost of war, baby. It's what you get. Um, either way, the Tans, uh, you know, this could have been a game-changing, a war-changing shift in tides for them, truth be told. However, at this point, I, I am seeing victory slipping away. I'd say their one major player still in the game is this Sherman over here, which seems to be, unlike the other Sherman drivers, a little bit more cautious, which could, uh, you know, play, play well for the Tans here. You know, it's probably lucky that they've still got this thing left alive here because this thing certainly is a little bit smarter than the other Tan tanks. Um... You know, if that thing can manage to stay alive, and uh, first of all, it's got to take out two enemy tanks. It's got to take out this one here and this one here. But a 1v2 is not impossible, especially when it comes to the Sherman. So, I mean, this tank is definitely going to be the best option for the Tans. I think the infantry, uh, honestly, probably just about defeated at this juncture in time. <laughs> it's not looking too good for the infantry for the, for the Tans at all, you know? Um... And, oh, I, I forgot, we actually have this tank too, so that's actually pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and do a little fast forwarding here and just sort of let the Tans regroup because they seem to just sort of be chilling for the time being. Not a lot of action. Uh, a couple of Tan soldiers begin like a kind of assault over here. Not really doing all that much. Still a couple of Tan soldiers over here. It's really the two Shermans, I think, that were waiting to get back in action that could possibly win this thing for the Tans. So 
So this guy is working on the second track right now, right there. One second, my dog is whining, so I'm gonna pause the game, go let him out, and I'll be right back. All right, gamers, sorry about that. You know, if a dog's gotta pee, a dog's gotta pee. Either way, we're still in fast motion here. Another trooper gets sniped right there. Um, basically just waiting for this thing to be done with its repairs to kind of get these these tans on with basically what's going to be their final assault. And there we go. That thing is now operational. And I'm going to do the tans a favor here. I will. They're going up against a stiff defense here. Um, we're going to go ahead and squad up all of their troopers and have them push in together. Together. Actually... The tan tanks are pushing in on their own together, so, well, this one's a bit farther behind, so we don't really need to interact with that, but, um, there we go. At least the infantry is now collectively together. Uh, this tan tank doing some good firing. This is sort of the brilliant tank of the tans. It's a pretty smart one, although it's repeating the same mistake, uh, and it's dead. And it's dead. So, one last tank remains. Here she blows. Kind of the final hope of the tans here. The other tank was the final hope of the tans until we learned that it was a dummy dum dum. It was just feigning intelligence. <laughs> now this is the true final uh, tan hope. Let's go ahead and push it forward alongside the infantry here in one last Ura charge. Not really a charge. I'm, I'm slow walking him forward. Wait, there's still two green soldiers here? Yo, I had no idea. Um, and most of the soldiers that are left for the Tans are weirdly Piats and one M16 trooper. Um, the Tan tank really derping here. I can't believe these two green soldiers managed to just stay in the water the entire battle. That's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> and they uh, will probably continue to stay there. I doubt they die. Oh, and one bazooka shot from the distance takes out the engine of this thing. Another one. Striking the the, uh, the tracks right there, and finally, just hull destroying this thing. It is now battered. It is now broken, and the tans fail pretty bad. So the orange and green alliance is still gonna remain the strongest on the battlefield. Um, the tans failed in their ploy here, and now they're really oh my god, <laughs> what the heck? Now they're really we're melted plastic here. Now we're really gonna see. Um, you know, the tans be fully defensive. I don't think the tans, purples, or blues can afford to not play defensive any longer. It's just not going to be possible for them, you know? Uh, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below what you thought of this episode, what you think should happen next. All right, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.